Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa. It's about three bag work drills for movement that you're not doing. All right, in today's episode, we're talking about three different bag work exercises you're not doing for movement. Now, every time we see a bag, we always think we wanna sit there, be stationary, and hit it with as much power as we can, especially the big heavy bags. Or you might have a stationary bag and you're forced to have to move around it. But if you do have a hanging bag, one of the benefits of this is using the bag's movement to kind of manage your distance, to be able to use timing drills. So I've created three important drills that I like to use on the bag here that really let you get your footwork naturally flowing between stances and just understanding that fighting is in stationary. You have to be thinking enter, exit, moving, forward, backwards, laterals. So this three will give you three different concepts to think about movement with the bag, all right? So let's get into the first one. Now, the first one, what I'm gonna do is more of a nice little warm up too. And this is important because a lot of times we throw our combination stationary or we don't know how to stay connected to the bag. So I like to do repetitive drills that help you circle and turn at the same time. Now, I can do it with a jab cross, which I'll show first. I step out with my jab, back foot goes to the cross. So you're able to punch and move around the bag at the same time. Once I go one way, I'll start stepping the other way. So I try not to stop my footwork and I could punch at the same time. Now I can do this with jab low kick. You can see I'm constantly touching and moving at the same time. I can go the other way. This time I step out as I kick. So you have to learn to throw your combinations while moving, while circling. One is gonna get you off of center line so you can defend more counters your way and you're creating an angle. So when you do throw a combination, you're in a better position to land it, okay? So constant touching and moving at the same time. So it's gonna teach you to move circular. Now, the benefit of the hanging bag is where drill number two comes in. Now, this is my shifting and back step drill, one of my favorite ones on the bag. Now, just to get used to it, I might start, you know, staying in an orthodox position or southpaw, and I just manage my distance with the bag moving forward and backwards. Now, as you move the bag a little bit faster now, this type of footwork might be hard to move so fast. As you can see, it comes faster. So this is where I bring my shifting and back step. So I can shift as it comes back, I back step my feet. I can use different footwork to be able to keep that space with the bag, okay? Now, once you develop the footwork, okay, which I'll quickly recap because you should know, I can do my box step if it's slow. If I need to move a little faster, I use a gallop. If I want to move really fast, that's when I use my back stepping, okay? So mixing those three types of footwork to move backwards is gonna help. As I move forward, I shift forward. I can tie hop forward, okay? And those are my main ones, walking versus tie hopping in. So once you develop the rhythm, right, you catch here. Then what I want you to add at the end, you mix punches at the end. So you mix your timing and you develop that footwork. Okay, once you get really good, you can start striking as you're moving. See how I keep that rhythm of my footwork? Okay, I can shift and keep punching. Okay, so you can see how I start with just getting the footwork, then I build in the different stepping, and then I can keep my attack. Now, this is a good volume drill, learning to punch and keep your feet moving. Now, a lot of times what I call, if you get stuck in the bay comes here, it means getting stuck in quicksand. That's what I call it. So learning to take those little pauses out is just gonna help you flow and strike and move so beautifully all together, okay? Now, the last drill is one of the most important when it comes to the bazooka system because I'm a pressure fighter. I like my low kicks and my pressure. And this drill here, as you can see, I'll, I can even do it this way for you. I like to move the bag this way, okay? As you can see, then I try to stay in front of it. As it comes here, I stay, I can track it, okay? So that's staying. Now I'm gonna go this way so you can see what strikes I like to use. With the footwork, 
Okay? If I stay in an orthodox position or southpaw, it's harder for me to move left and right. Okay? It's slower. If I want to move faster, I use a neutral stance. Okay? So I'll travel faster when my feet are in neutral, which is this way. It's faster. This way is a little bit more calculated and slower, but I do get to load up my power side. Okay, so you gotta decide. Once you've naturally gotten the footwork to be able to laterally track, then I like to throw some hooks from here, okay? Boom, I can throw some hooks, bang. Now I can throw the hook and keep the bag moving, right? Boom, or sometimes I, boom, I stop the bag from coming, boom. So you use the movement to use the stopping. Now, when I do this drill, I encourage the bag to stay moving so I can keep the drill. So sometimes I kick it at the end, lets me keep it. Sometimes I will stop the bag, okay? So sometimes you encourage it moving, sometimes you get it to stop. Now if you visualize what this concept is, my fight with Raymond Daniels. You get him against the ropes, you track them here, you defend, you defend as they go this way, I hook. As they come this way, I chop, right? Hook, hook, they come this way, I'm chopping. So you can understand that you can use your fight concepts, the ones you use in sparring, and practice them on the bag. Too many times, once we see this bag, we only get here, we get stationary. Start moving your feet and doing these creative drills because at the end of the day, Footwork's all about movement and distance control, okay? Hope you enjoyed today's episode and you add these three important drills into your training and you support the channel by supporting our sponsors. We have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, perfect sports nutrition for your supplement needs using code bazooka20 gets you 20% off of those. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com, brand new videos every single Monday and we have categories split to make your training even better for you. Home workouts, bag workouts, sparring drills, tutorials, all for you, less than $10 a month and brand new videos every single Monday with an archive library, probably up to around 400 videos for you to learn from. All right, hope you learned a lot from today's episode. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.